programs uh, in schools in about nine cities. Take a look, they've got the mascot here. Uh, there he is, I think that's a little graduation cap. He's got the candy cane work. And then the satanic devil said, okay, we're not here to teach about the red guy and the pitchfork. It's about scientific rationalization, uh, free thinking. But then you go on YouTube and you check out their video and I'm gonna let you listen to a little bit of it. It's gonna chill a little bit of a chill down your spine. Get the red lettering in there is it and it goes in deeper you get the voices and the more fo foreboding music so uh we've got a representative from the group we'll ask about the, the video here um what, what the, the question though is we, in all of this is and especially in some of these cities where it's being targeted uh what are parents saying about it here's how they're reacting it's america i mean you know freedom of speech my preference would be no that we don't have it but their preference would be that Christians might have their group, too. All right, after-school Satan targeting possible locations. There you see it in nine cities. Atlanta, that's where you heard the uh, parents from the Atlanta area, Los Angeles, Seattle, Springfield, so kind of across the country there. And joining me to talk a little further about this via Skype's co-founder, spokesperson for the Satanic Temple, Lucian Grievous is with us, and by phone, sure. the Vice President for USA Ministries, uh, the Child Evangelism Fellowship. They have the Good News Club, it's a Christian after-school program. Uh, Moses Estevis joins us as well. Lucian, let me start with you. First off, clear up what you're teaching, because on one side, you're, it's about critical thinking, but then I saw that video, that's got more of a Lucifer leaning to it. What are you teaching? Well, we don't contain any items of religious opinion in our curriculum, in contrast to the Child Evangelism Fellowship and the Good News Clubs, which train children to proselytize to other children in, in public schools. Um, we were hoping, actually, the video would be jarring and cause people to think about the lack of regulation and restriction on after-school club curriculum and the kind of materials that are being put forward in the schools. Because I think if most Christians knew what the Child Evangelism Fellowship was about and how they have an acrimonious relationship to many sects of Christianity, including the Catholic Church, they would be disgusted to know that they're coming in and training children, trying to coerce them into their way of fundamental fundamentalist isolationist thinking. Okay, well, I'll, and I'll ask Moses about that in just a sec, but while we're on what you guys are teaching, again, if you continue on with the video, is it, you've got the foreboding voices and things like that, clear it up. Is it about free thinking or are you talking about Satan in there to kids? Well, I'm not sure where you're getting Satan in the video other than that you see the imagery as being right. foreboding. It might be foreboding, but I don't think there's anything actually objectionable in any of it. Okay, so again, teaching about Satan or not? No, not no. teaching okay. about Satan. It's okay. a after-school club that's incidentally held by the Satanic Temple and executed by Satanists. Got it. Okay, uh, Mo Moses Estevis is here. Uh, Estevis, sorry. So, what what is taught in a good news in the good news uh, club after school? Well, thank you for having me. The good news club is a nurturing, welcome, welcoming, privately sponsored after-school enrichment club offering training in morals character leadership citizenship but from a christian biblical perspective we do a variety of fun activities with bible stories songs and games and we teach the children about god that god loves them that christ loves them and the children respond in wonderful ways to to the message of the gospel and their lives are impacted very positively as a matter of fact they behave, their behavior starts changing for the better. Uh, we have uh, principals that have said, and I just even recently read a quote, we have noticed an improvement in student behavior. Uh, Good News Club has provided us with an extra resource for our, our high-risk population. Another one said, since the Good News Club has been a part of our school, the office referrals have decreased. So we teach children to respect one another, respect their parents, respect their teachers from a Christian biblical base. And, uh, and the community loves the clubs, and I think their enrollment uh, demonstrates okay. that too. Currently we have 178,000 children coming to this club, and they come because they love it. They are loved by their teachers, and it's a very positive experience for the school and the community. Okay, there's the both sides uh, of this. But you, uh, Lucian, you see that this group is indoctrinating kids, right? And you, you want to come in. Not only into that, they're not teaching the love of Jesus and the love of God. If you actually look at their material, they're specifically telling kids that they're sinners and that they will go to hell and that the ultimate outcome of the sin is death. 
And that's a good, uh, that's a primary reason why we think a counterbalance of having Satanists representing an after school club and showing that people can be of a differing religious opinion or even em embrace what looks like blasphemous imagery and still be moral and productive people, we think that sends a very positive message to children. Because the idea of, of, of Satanists uh, as this kind of outgroup for which we justify witch hunts and outgroup purges has never been very constructive. Well, on that point, and there was a, a tweet, a uh, person named Maddie tweeted out this, but why don't you just call it a, a, a science club and get the, you know, the term Satan out of there if you want uh, more of a critical free thinking? Well, because we do have this history of outgroup making, and we have a history of burning witches that never existed or imprisoning Satanists that never never were active. And this, this has happened as recently as the 80s and 90s in the United States false accusations of satanic crimes. So we're not, we're not eager to uphold this idea of Satan's servants on earth and that people who disagree with a Christian perspective must necessarily uphold cruelty and destruction. And we think that kids should know that there's different meaning to different symbols for different people and that it doesn't necessarily mean that it's wrong. Hey, Moses, I'll let you wrap it up here uh, concerning Lucian's contention that a lot of what is taught in the good news is about you know the wages of sin is death and 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 that so forth is that a, a bulk of what is taught well <clears throat> child evangelism fellowship has been teaching for 79 years what the bible has been teaching for 2000 years and that jesus loves me this i know for the bible tells me so and uh, this issue of the content of our clubs was thoroughly discussed before the justices of the supreme court in early 2001 and on june 11 2001 on a vote six to three the united states supreme court ruled that good news clubs can be on a school campus and have equal treatment the parents of the clubs are invited to come to the clubs many of them come sit in the back of the room they love the club they love the content of the club this is all uh negative publicity from this group of atheists the people behind the after-school Satan clubs are atheists dressed up in scary costumes. This isn't the Satanist club. This isn't a devil-worshipping club. These are atheists trying to scare parents which pit, with pitchfork and devil horns. And so uh, the bottom line is the parents, just like they sign permission slips for the kids come to goodness clubs, they're going to have to sign parental permission slips to come to these clubs. And just like a, an atheist club that completely flopped in New York last year because the parents wouldn't send their kids, the parents are gonna, not going to send their kids to these clubs. All right. Well, both of you guys had your say, and we, we've just run out of time there. So there's both sides of it. We'll see if any after-school Satan programs pop up in some of these nine cities. Uh, Lucian Moses, thank you guys for your time. All right. Now we're about to take you inside.